Hi, my name is Angela Pansella, and I'm here to tell you about my favorite scripture passage, which is Isaiah uh, chapter 52, starting in verse 13, going into chapter 53, the whole chapter. It's one of the suffering servant songs of Isaiah. It's the one that starts, uh, See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be raised high and greatly exalted. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred was his look beyond that of man and his appearance beyond that of mortals. And it's been my favorite since I first heard it um, back when I was attending St. Thomas of Aquin grade school in uh, South St. Louis City. Um, and we would go over to the church uh, on Fridays in Lent and do the way of the cross, the stations of the cross, with that little brown pamphlet um, that you guys may have seen as well at other churches. Um, they used uh, that scripture throughout the stations. They broke it up over the course of many stations. But then I heard it again all together in the Good Friday service. And there was just something so powerful and mysterious and profound about it that just struck me from the start. Um, Isaiah describes someone who's a complete nobody. Um, and he's an innocent man who is nevertheless punished and even killed, uh, but somehow is also responsible for the healing of everyone. And the same person that was described as being killed is described as getting this great honor and glory uh, by the end. Um, so it really is no wonder that it would be used in the Good Friday service. And we even see in uh, the Gospel of Luke, uh, Jesus quotes from it uh, during the Last Supper. And in the book of Acts, it's what the Ethiopian eunuch is reading and needs to have interpreted to him. Um, so there's so many connections and it's so connected to um, the story of, of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. But there's also this feeling of how it's connected in with just the whole concept of nonviolent resistance for me. It makes me think of the uh, insights that were developed by Gandhi and Martin Luther King, that there's this ultimate paradox in our lives that um, the greatest uh, power is in seeming weakness, seeming powerlessness.